Hi, this is part two of my Barcelona vlog. Um, I hope you enjoy it. There's going to be all my like advice stuff at the end of this video. And then I'm off to Madrid for one night to stay with my friends in their Airbnb. I just dropped my stuff off at my next hotel, which is Hotel 153. It looks amazing. I couldn't check in because I was too early, but I've just dropped my stuff off, got changed. And I'm going to go and meet my friends at their hotel when I've got something to eat. This is the Castle de Fowles Beach. I think I'm definitely saying it wrong. But yeah, so my friend's hotel is one of these beachfront ones. The beach is amazing and it's a Sunday. It's like 29 degrees, so it's really packed right now. We stayed at my friend's hotel for most of that day. It was so relaxing and nice. Then we spent about an hour on the beach nearby. Just checked into my new hotel called Hotel 153 and I'll just show you around quickly. It's really nice, it's a really good size. One person, I think there's a bath, a shower, and you come through. Little wardrobe, safe, bed, dresser. Then you've got a little balcony as well which I didn't know came with the room. So yeah, it's right here, it's a really good location. It's about a five minute walk from the beach. And I'll put all the prices that I paid on the screen. Yeah. Good morning, it's the next day. I'm at my fourth hotel of this trip. I'm back in downtown Barcelona. I'm about a 30 minute walk from the beach. I am on the like main road of, well, it's like just off the main road. I think it's called Las Ramblas. Is it? Anyway, it's like a really like known road here to go to. I'm just off there. I got a taxi here. Um, I paid about 25 euros, I think it was. Um, I just had to because the public transport was gonna take me about two hours and I couldn't be bothered. So yeah, I'm back in the best place in the central Barcelona. I'm gonna have a beach day today and then tomorrow it's meant to be raining. So I'll see what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take myself on a date tonight. Dress up all cute. Um, yeah, this hotel's really lovely. The check-in staff was so nice. I got here at 10 a.m., check-ins at 3 p.m. He was like, oh, we, we've got a, a better room than you reserved. So I'll just give you that room. I was like, okay. Um, so yeah, it's lovely. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go get ready, go to the beach. Here's a little tour of the room. It cost me 192 pounds for two nights, um, which is about 230 euros, but it's really central. So for the location, that's quite good. arrived at the beach. I'm literally just gonna sunbathe, probably nap. And that's my plans. I've come out to find somewhere to eat. I went home, got ready, and now I'm out. I'm at Plaza Catalunya. It's really pretty and I'm dressed nice. I was literally gonna go to KFC, but I'm dressed too cute, so I kinda wanna go to a more bougie restaurant. So that's what I'm gonna do. I ended up finding this Italian, which was quite affordable and quite casual. I got two starters, as you can see, and I also got a main. I got the bolognese, it's really good. Good morning, it's the next day and it's due to rain today. It says the rain's meant to start in the next hour and be all day. So no beach day for me. Um, I was thinking to go to maybe the aquarium or a museum. Um, so my outfit today, I've got a hoodie, 
ready. Also, I wanted to tie something around my waist anyway because a lot of the people are very, a lot of the men are very starey here. So I want to just, you know, try and cover up while I'm by myself. Um, so yeah, this area I'm in right now is a little bit, I wouldn't recommend it for solo travellers. <laughs> But maybe with you with your friends, it's fine, but not solo, especially female. Actually, male as well, because I did, I saw a man get mugged yesterday around the corner from the hotel, so that was fun. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get some breakfast, I'll show you where I go, and then I'll see where I end up because it's gonna rain. And <laughs> Just had breakfast at that place i put it on the screen it was actually really affordable it was six euros for a water cappuccino and that big massive pastry i couldn't even finish the pastry which is not like me at all and i'm now just gonna wander have a little wander around and see where i end up i probably might go to the aquarium later it depends just walking along by the marina to the aquarium and I just realised this massive shopping centre's there and there's a big Bershka inside so I'm definitely going in there first. It's right here by the harbour and this is what it looks like from the outside. There she is. I'm gonna have a little look. This is what I'm picking up. Some denim shorts because I don't have any that fit me anymore and these cute little earrings. I just got here and I've decided not to go because the queue is really long and I'm I'm just lazy, I can't be bothered to queue, but it's really cute, it's like giant fish and there's loads of kids and they're all screaming and I just can't be bothered for that. Then I pretty much went to bed because I had a train the next day at 6am, which was to Madrid and it took about two and a half hours to get there. Now in sunny Madrid with the girls, we, I'm at that Airbnb. Oh my god, I want to. And yeah, it's really nice and sunny. We've come to this market place. It's called Mercado de San Miguel. Wow, my pronunciation. We have come to the cathedral in Madrid. It's so big and it looks really beautiful. The video doesn't even give it justice of how big it is. It's absolutely huge. And then I think that's the palace on that side. Oh. Got loads of cute pictures here. And if you want to see any more, there's some on my Instagram. We've just come to this restaurant called Bloom. It is absolutely magical. Look at this. Hi! <laughs> so beautiful. It's all pink, so I love it. The birthday girl. Very happy. <laughs> So the food comes in these extra plates and I mm. love it. To die for. So we got the pad thai. The food is to die for, no? <laughs> no? <laughs> and the cocktails are so extra. Just had our meal at Bloom and it was so nice. It was delicious. <laughs> delicious. I would recommend it just for the aesthetics alone. It is beautiful. Go and check out my TikTok. <laughs> You want to see more? <laughs> the next day, and we're getting empanadas for breakfast. And then we're going to the Frida Kahlo exhibition. That's our day. And then we're going home. We reached the Frida Kahlo exhibition after a kerfuffle trying to find it. But we found it. And we're here. Amor Amarillo. The Frida 
Carlo immersive experience, which is there. I'm not sure how long it's on for. I will write it in the description if I find out. It was actually really good. I'm not bothered about anything like that. I really hate galleries. I hate boring historical things, but I actually really enjoyed it. It was really good. And it made me really teary at the end. You have to go see it, it's really good. But I added some little bit of clips. I don't want to give it all away. It was 12 euros 90 entry. Um, and yeah, it's good. I recommend. So we've come to this beautiful park in Madrid. It was about 20 minute walk from our Airbnb, but we were lazy and we got a metro. It is so stunning and it's a really hot day. So it's so beautiful. There's like fountains, there's music playing. We've just been sunbathing for a little bit. And um, just before this, we were at the Frida Kahlo Museum. That was really good. It was an immersive experience. I don't know if I just probably already mentioned that, but yeah, it was really good. So after this, we're literally sunbathing and then we're gonna go back to the Airbnb and pick up our stuff and go straight to the airport and go home. Really don't wanna leave. There are also these random characters and people dressed up around the park so you can take pictures with them and they're really fun you just got to give them some change here's me with Winnie the Pooh okay so we've reached the end of the video I'm about to go to London so I'm just quickly doing this clip so then I can edit the video on the train um so just a rundown of like tips and stuff for the time I was away. First off is public transport. I actually found the public transport transport fine. Um, well, I had to use the app City Mapper. It is the only app I literally swear by it. I use it for every city I go to that has it. Um, so I use City Mapper everywhere I went. They've, I've written it on my hands, my notes. <laughs> They've got trams, buses, and metro in Barcelona. Um, it was. For me, I'm the worst person at public transport. I just don't understand directions. I don't get it, I don't get maps. City Mapper literally, it just breaks it down. It tells you how to even walk to the bus stop and like everything. Um, so when I got there to Barcelona, I bought a ticket that's uh, 10 singles in one ticket. That was around 11 euros. So you save quite a bit of money doing that. And we knew we were gonna do over 10 trips. I ended up doing, I think about 12, single trips in Barcelona altogether. So yeah, it was worth it getting the that ticket. However, in Madrid, we got the um, card, which is like an Oyster card in London, where it's just like a card that you top up with your money. But actually the thing that's different is that you put in where you're going, where your destination is. So it only charges you however much, however, wherever you're going to. So each time it was around one euro seventy, I think it was, for like a single to get somewhere. Sometimes to go to, like to get off and go on again, so like a connecting tube, um, it was still the same price. So it was still pretty cheap that way. Another thing I noticed in Barcelona and Madrid was there was loads of public toilets, which I need because I need to wee every five minutes. I don't know why, but um, I had to always look on my Google Maps like toilets nearby and there was always one walk walking distance which is amazing for me <laughs> I know that's stupid but it, we don't have a lot of public toilets in England you have to kind of just go into restaurants and stuff oh top tip for the toilets always have tissue on you they they're disgusting those toilets are disgusting have hand sanitizer and tissue on you at all times just it saved my life honestly and i was the one that would be in the queue handing out tissues to all the girls because they realized that there wasn't toilet um tissue in there so and lastly did i find it safe to be in barcelona and madrid um so in barcelona i felt so safe when i was with my friend i was told always have your bag on you always be safe i was thinking everyone's exaggerating like everyone's no one's gonna steal anything here However, when I was by myself, I actually saw somebody get mugged. Um, it was this like big man and he was the one that got mugged. Um, that was really scary because that was like a metre from me. And I, yeah, I didn't like that. I walked home with my bag like this the rest of the way. I didn't like that. Um, so yeah, but when I was by myself, I felt much less safe. I think it was also the area I was in. I was in um, the Rambler 
area so it was all these little side streets you'll know if you've been there or if you go it's so different to the rest of Barcelona it's all like small streets and very easy to steal stuff basically I don't think there was any security cameras anywhere not that that would have made a difference in Madrid I did feel safe but again I was with a group of girls and I did always have an eye on my bag like I would always be holding my bag and where the zip is on my bag I'd always have a hand over it but that's I'm just paranoid anyway like even in England I do that so I wouldn't say it was I didn't see anything like that happen in Madrid however it is a busy city and like any busy city you know you just gotta be use your common sense so yeah I would recommend both places for solo travelers 100% but in Barcelona don't stay in the Rambla area unless you're with somebody um I do recommend the the that five star hotel I went to in Barcelona in my first vlog and the hostel we stayed at in the first vlog 100% I'd I'd recommend them for solo travelers so yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't seen part one watch part one yeah thank you and see you next time